you all day here on Channel 8. We're taking you inside Nellis Air Force Base. Yeah, Alex, there are nearly 12,000 military and more than 3,000 civilian and contract workers over at the Air Force Base. A crucial part of what they do is at the Nevada Test and Training Range. In a special report this morning, Orca Mana explains why it's so unique. So there isn't another place in the, in the continental United States to be able to do what we can do here. It's known as the crown jewel of the Department of Defense, a warfighter's arena right here in the Las Vegas Valley. Welcome to the Nevada Test and Training Range. And TTR Commander Colonel Cameron Dadgar says it's the perfect place for airmen at Nellis Air Force Base and across the U.S. Air Force to prepare for battle. That's because it's the size of the state of Maryland and there's no air traffic above it. What that allows is uh, full use of that, this airspace. Airmen do everything here, from flying in formation to simulating missile and bomb drops. They are able to now actually go out and do their techniques, their tactics, their procedures to the full extent against an adversary that most best replicates what they might face in combat. The NTTR was first established following the Vietnam War. Through studies known as the Red Baron Reports, the U.S. Air Force realized young airmen lacked training against realistic rivals. So the first step was to create that airspace and that ground infrastructure to do that. One group of aircraft that truly utilizes the Nevada Test and Training Range is the Aggressor Squadron. That includes planes like these, which essentially pretend to be our enemies in the air. We also have to be experts in enemy hardware, enemy tactics. Aggressors are modified F-16s that emulate the latest threats against the United States. Their capstone event is the Red Flag Exercise, which is hosted at the Nevada Test and Training Range. Once complete, airmen flying against the aggressors are considered ready for war. Red Flag is where we throw the whole kitchen sink at them. In other words, the entirety of the threat spectrum and we're going to challenge them in every single way, shape or form that we possibly can. But Colonel Dadgar says the NTTR needs improvements as our adversaries crank up their capabilities. They've become more lethal, the, the ranges have become farther and farther out, it needs to be expanded uh, to better be able to replicate what our adversaries can do. Their ultimate goal is to keep us at the forefront of the future fight. Reporting from Nellis Air Force Base, Orco Mana, 8 News Now. And such cool video from the air there. The colonel adds over 80% of his workforce at the NTTR are civilians from here in Las Vegas and other towns around the state. Coming up here at 6 o'clock tonight, Orca will take a closer look at the weapons school at Nellis as pilots train for potential threats around the world, John.